This is where we're going to set up the background color for your site. Let me show you just which area that is because your site does get broken down into multiple areas. Each of them can have their own background color to keep them distinct from one another, or you can make the whole thing meld together by picking similar background colors for each. Now you see how there's these different sections. Up here you've got what's called the header. This is the navigation. This whole area is called the featured area. And then down here is the main body of the site. You've got the content area here and also the sidebar over here. Now what this section is going to do is change the background color of this entire area, everything you see that's gray here. You will have a chance later to choose background settings for both the content area and the sidebar, and you even have the option to make them transparent, which means that the site background will show up rather than their own background settings. The way you change colors and background settings is the exact same for each area though, so let me show you how that gets done. All you have to do to set your background color is click on the small box here to pull up the color chart. You can select a stock color on the left side, or you can create a custom color of your own choosing here on the right. If you find a similar color to what you're looking for, you can slide this bar around to try out the different hues and see what looks good to you. I've already picked out the colors that I prefer for my background, so I'm going to go into my document where I stored the color numbers like we went over earlier and copy and paste those RGB numbers into the red, green, and blue boxes right here to make the color that I want. Now the color I'm making happens to be white, which is a stock color that's already on the left side, but I wanted to show you how to get the same custom color throughout your site if you find one that you like and you want to use it again. So let's go over to that document and we're just going to copy and paste each of those numbers. Go ahead and copy and paste each of them in there if you've already done this. And then click Add to Custom Colors. Now select the color you picked, whether it was a custom or a basic, and click OK. Now we'll click Save All Settings and we can go ahead and view the site and see how it looks. Now you see the whole background has turned white. Play around with it until you're happy with the color you've chosen and then move on to the next tab. Another SEO tip I've got for you before you go is that if you use a large image as the background anywhere on your site, it's going to slow down your load speed which will hurt your rankings. Stick with a solid color or use a small image that gets repeated throughout the background. It'll actually speed up your load times and help your rankings. Keep that in mind. We can actually add a background image to replace or go on top of your background color in this tab here. But if you're happy with the solid color, then go ahead and move on to the next section, and I'll meet you there.